time once again for a five-minute-ish review. Those Who Call, filmed in 2021, is finally getting its straight-to-digital release January 2023. Young writer and director Anubis Lopez, according to his biography in IMDb, is known for having abrupt, shocking, or unexpected endings to his films. And all his films are made purposely to make audiences feel uneasy and uncomfortable. He believes horror should be more psychological than physical. While I think that his ideas are sound, and I agree that psychological horror can be much more frightening, I'm afraid that those who call fall short of his mark. The movie opens with a lone driver breaking down in a small remote town. Seeking help, she stumbles through the woods and disturbs an apparent cult-like ceremony. She tries to run, but the cult members chase her down and apparently murder her. Next, we meet Sandra and Anna, two estranged sisters who have reunited shortly after the death of their father. The two decide to do a cross-country road trip in his memory in order to get reacquainted. When they fail to follow the most important lesson in any horror film, that if the creepy gas station attendant tells you to go back, you should go back, they run out of gas on a deserted road. They decide to spend the night in the van until they can find help in the morning. One of the sisters spots a mysterious figure among the trees, but the other not seeing it tells her it's just a trick of the light and they go to sleep. When they wake, they find themselves in the middle of the forest. With no idea how they got there and where there is, they try to find their way through the woods. The stress of the situation causes old grievances between the two to boil to the surface, but their personal demons aren't the only things in the woods that are threatening them. Not a bad description, eh? Yeah. I thought it sounded promising as well, so I went into the film with some amount of hope. Unfortunately, as I alluded to earlier, I was disappointed. Most of the film is just the two sisters yelling at each other. Their arguments aren't even all that interesting or compelling. One sister is mad at the other for leaving home and leaving her to care for their father. The other is mad that the other is mad for her going off and living her life while running her own business. There's no explanation as to why their father needed any amount of care or what real burden the young sister felt was thrust upon her, and the arguments usually boil down to a sort of, I know you are, but what am I, level of yelling matches. In between the arguments, some of which are done in flashbacks that are edited in so harshly that it actually took me a second to really comprehend what was going on, there is some vague attempt to link their father with the cult, and that might explain an event at the climax of the film, but there's just not enough there to really accept the ending as the payoff as it's meant to be. The cult does show back up, but they are relegated to just kind of running around in the woods and looking menacing in their robes. I know Lopez thinks there's more fear in the not knowing, not seen, but if you're going to have a satanic cult in your film, there's some expectation for some gore. I'm not a fan of gore for the sake of just being gross, and I've said so in the past, so this may come across as a little bit hypocritical, but even I thought it was warranted here. The filmmakers had to deal with a pandemic while filming, and that might account for what I find to be some of the movie's shortcomings. They were limited on crew and locations due to COVID concerns, so maybe they just couldn't get all the people and places that this sort of story really needed. Anubis Lopez loaded the film with some of the right ammunition, but in the end, I think Those Who Call is a bit of a misfire. As always, I'd love to hear your thoughts on the film. It is currently available to stream on multiple platforms. If you watch Those Who Call, please drop me an email to timeshifterspodcast at gmail.com or follow the link in the show notes to find all our social media locations.